Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video and on this particular training, we are gonna pick up where we left off on our last training and we're gonna talk about how we can start to parse information out of an email that was submitted through an online contact form. So I'll just give you a quick little recap of what we've already done. We have a contact form on this external website we filled that capture page out, that contact form out, and we submitted that information. We had that information sent to this custom email parser address. And now what we need to do is we need to take the information that is in the body of that email, and we need to teach this email parser mailbox how to separate the information out of this email that we want sent over to phone burner. So if you're looking here, we've got first name Gary, last name Sample, phone, and then the phone number, email, and then the email address. So you can see the email is laid out in a very simple way that has all that contact information in it. And so I just need to go in here and highlight all of the pieces of information that I want pulled out. So we're gonna highlight Gary, and we're gonna label it first name because Gary is his first name. So here you can see first name and then it's got this code first name now. It doesn't actually show Gary anymore. And then sample is the last name. This phone number is the phone number. Now notice that I'm not highlighting the labels. I'm only highlighting the information that I actually want to pull out of the email. I also want to point out that all of these options in this dropdown are there because I've used them previously. They are not there because it's just part of the system. So when you first start doing this, you're not going to see a bunch of options listed there. You'll have to type things out fully before you'll be able to use that. Now, once we've gone ahead and highlighted all of the pieces of information that we want sucked out of the email, we can go ahead and save the address and template. Now here you can see this is our email address or our mailbox. We can come back at any point in the future and edit it or view the emails that were sent to that address. You're gonna wanna set up different mailboxes for each source. I do not recommend that you use the same email address for multiple sources because each source that's sending you emails with lead information in it is probably gonna be laid out differently. And you don't wanna to have to create a bunch of templates and you don't wanna make it too complicated for the email parser to try to capture the right information to send it into phone burner. But that's it for this specific training video. Make sure you continue to watch all of the videos in this series so that you can learn how to get this data posted into PhoneBurner as effective and efficiently as possible. Thanks again and happy dialing.